Welcome to the first episode of Two Step Tuesdays, where I do or learn something new and cool, and then show you guys how to do it in two minutes or less. Today, I've partnered with 1-6 Motorsports in Elk Grove Village, Illinois, to show you guys how to make more power on your non-RBC UK series motors. 1-6 Motorsports is a Honda performance shop in Elk Grove Village, as I said. If you guys are Chicago local, come check them out. I'll have their information in the description. If you're not Chicago local, feel free to check out their website. That will also be a link in the description at valexracing.com. They have a humongous selection of Honda parts and they offer a lot of Honda services. And with all that being said, the timer starts now. So this is an RBC intake manifold that mainly originates from 06 plus Civic SIs. Mark has kindly laid out all the tools that you're going to need to modify your intake manifold, so I advise you to pause the video now and take notes. The first step is going to be to remove the hose fitting from the manifold. As you can see, Mark goes for the pry bar and it does take quite a bit of force, but he rotates the hose fitting back and forth until he's able to remove it from the manifold. It should just slide out nice and easy. Then you're going to want to grab your intake manifold gasket and line it up on your intake take manifold. As you can see, Mark's going to make a nice precise trace down the side of it with a sharpie marker. If you mess up this step, you've pretty much messed up the entire modification because that line is super close to that water passage on the side. Just take your time with this one because if you mess it up, there's really no going back. Now Mark is going to begin to cut away the water passage and he's doing this by following just like a loose line. He's going to cut through one side of the water passage, then the other. Now it's hammer time. Here's a little bit better of an angle so you can see exactly what you removed from the manifold. For this next part of the video, I'm going to refer to the flange side of the manifold as the top and the runner side of the manifold as the bottom. As you can see, Mark begins grinding away the top first and then makes his way down to the bottom and then makes his way to the middle to smooth it all out. His goal is to remove enough material to completely remove the sharpie mark that he made previously, but no more or no less than the sharpie mark. Then he makes his way down to the side to remove any of the material from any of the casting that was left from the manufacturing process. This just makes it real clean, real smooth. This is where the technique comes in. And then Mark makes a few finishing touches to make it beautiful, and then it's time to test fit. As you can see, the manifold lines up perfectly with just enough room to spare, and this is exactly what you're looking for if you're thinking about doing this mod. Also, you can do this mod to your 06 Plus SI. That way, you won't have to drain the coolant every single time you remove the manifold. Also, it's a way to slightly reduce intake air temps because you'll be reducing a little bit of heat transfer. So guys, that's all there is to it. If you guys are looking to make a little bit more top end power on your non RBC K series motors, this is a fantastic way to do it due to the shorter runners of the intake manifold, increasing horsepower on the top end. Also, if you guys know anything about K series motors, you'll know that the RBC manifold flows the best out of all the K series manifolds. That's why this is such an awesome DIY. That's why it's so amazing that it's literally free as long as you have the manifold. Well, I guess if you don't have the manifold, it's not free, but then you have to buy the manifold, but it's free to do the DIY. I it's kind of free. Also, if you're watching this video right now and you're already subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos and like follow the Civic build and all that stuff, I want your feedback on this video because I'm really excited to have partnered with 1-6 Motorsports, but it was difficult, not difficult, it was challenging to find a good way to combine what they wanted to make, like tutorials and stuff like that, with what I do and like kind of combine it with like me engaging with you guys and I tried to find a really really good way to engage with you guys while also making a very informative video but while making it entertaining and engaging and let me know what you guys think. Also if you're completely new here and you like this video and you like what I do please click that subscribe button and click the like button on this video and with that being said this is the end of the first ever two-step Tuesday and as I always say boys remember to plan commit execute and attain your goals. Bye. Long shot coming in.